Alright everybody, in today's video we're going to be getting a look at Kurt Hawkins and Samoa Joe from Link 64. Let's get these guys cracked open. Basically go from one of the bigger badasses in WWE to one of the most prolific losers in WWE. And I am also a fan of Kurt because I just I love the uh, NWF podcast that him and uh, Zach Ryder do. But, you know, as a wrestler, hasn't been, hasn't fared too well, I'll say that, versus Joe who's been playing title matches. Um, yeah, I'll give you the uh, give you the option to pause here. Check out what we got in the back. You got the usual. Got the names. I will crack these bad boys open for you guys right now. All right, guys, we got these bad boys cracked open. Now for Kurt, solid job on this one by Mattel. I'm gonna say probably one of my favorite figs. Got the knee, the uh, part of the Rollins kick pads here. By Rollins, you know, Miz, Brian, you see them pretty often. Got the mold down on the lower as well. You can see the holds over the kick pad. Design in the kick pad, face the facts, face the facts. Um, he comes with his little cane um, inside the fig, you know, singlet, usually as a singlet guy. Um, I'm hoping we get to see the green singlet that he popped out for Manny when him and, uh, Zach won the titles, but uh, we shall see. It also comes with it's the uh, same style that came with the King of the Ring um, Shane. It's a breakaway panel. It just says Raw on it. Kept the uh, elastic around it because for my luck it'll break on camera. Um, and then it comes with uh, a pair of uh, just closed fists as well. Uh, I think for what you're getting with the Elite price, this you know if you change the packaging, I don't know how good it would have sold, but this could have probably easily been a defining moment or entrance grade or something bigger because of what you got with it. There's a ton that comes with this one. Um, and as far as Joe goes, first time, same as Roman, but you have the um, the hand gesture. Solid job because, I mean, it's something perfect to include. Can't wait to get the two sweet for the uh, upcoming Rollins and Balor ones. But um, solid shirt. Probably one of my favorite Joe shirts. It's simple, but gets the job done. Um, the towel was actually the right length for once. I know the last elite, the towel was not long enough. It was weird. It was kind of short. Um, I have the red attire here. I know Joe kind of switches off between red, green, yellow, and blue. Gets this random various colors. Um, solid shirt design, like I was saying. The shirt also, no no issues with that. Um, this actually doesn't, I don't see too many, um, too many Mattel uh, quality issues. So that's always a plus. Um, this is honestly probably my favorite figure we have for Joe. Um, just because that head scan, the, the head scan on that is just, I mean, if you compare that to the other Joe that we've got. I mean, compare that head scan to this one. Like that, That's two different guys. Like this is just so much better honestly and it's it's insane to see like it looks kind of asian honestly in that one and then this looks like joe that is joe you know what i mean like that's that's what you're going for so i will say M mattel with the true effects definitely helped out some other joe a lot i will say um so yeah guys i i would probably say you know for these ones i i want to say this joe's an eight honestly great joe one of my favorite favorite wrestlers but favorite figures too um, so I'll go with eight on that one. Um, for Kurt, I think for what he comes with, you gotta, gotta go, gotta go seven and a half probably. Just the accessories he comes with. This is a great little accessory. Doing backstage stuff or anything like that. Um, and the attire is solid. It's a solid attire up and down. So, all right, guys, check out the other videos. You know, like, comment, subscribe, do the usual, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.